Hello, this is the second video for fiber optic sensor for CubeSat. First, let's rewind a little. Talk about what a CubeSat is. These are miniature satellites that start at 10 centimeter cube volumes. They're relatively low cost uh, to conventional satellites and benefit from very low power consumption. So for our project, let's assume we have two mirror CubeSat in space. Both CubeSats need some alignments in order to do data analysis and data transfer. Angular displacement sensing will help to achieve this goal. So the main concept is that if we have a laser shooting from CubeSat 1 to CubeSat 2, we can have an optical collimation at CubeSat 2 and a reflective surface mirror to reflect the laser. Then the photo detector on CubeSat 1 will pick up the reflection. And based on the intensity of light, the photo detector detects. We can then determine the angular displacement of the CubeSat. We are using a multi-mode fiber optic cable. We'll have six photo dials that connect to each end of, of the fiber and the center fiber is for the laser. This fiber optic bundle will be arranged in a round shape with the laser fiber in the center and the photo dials fiber surrounded. Because the signal from fiber will be really weak, we have to design a amplifier PCB with software platform. Here's a little demo. The center fiber cable is for the laser. Uh, you can see the laser here. Uh, and so this end piece will be the part that connects to this. So here's the PCB. You've got Got the photodiode, the microprocessor, the cable, um, the battery unit here, the voltage regulator. So in theory, all of these will be propagated with a photodiode. And then here's the laser driver. Here's the collimator that amplifies the laser. After the collimator, we have a positive lens to refocus the laser. Then the pinpoint will be reflected by a golden mirror, which will have the ability to adjust the gimbal. You see these two knobs on top? These are the knob that adjust the gimbal. Here is the full setup of our project. Here's the software we came up with. There are three modes and four options that you can choose from. The overview mode will tell the real-time data. The test bench mode will show the degree and photo dials that are currently in use. Here's how the overview mode looks like. For example, only A5 has been connected to the photo dial right now, so you can see the voltage. As we change the laser power output, you can tell the, the voltage changes as well. Here are the options you can choose from ADC configuration. And just in case if the software freezes, we do have a software reset.